Hey, what's up, what's up, guys? It's your boy Sky Cobras again with the Dark Lord Sauron. And today, 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 actually, it was yesterday, it finally came out. Yes, I am talking about the Rings of Power. Now, I have to apologize, but I did not post as much content as I would have liked to leading up to this show. But let me tell you why I should have. Uh, for people who are close to me, they already know this, but Lord of the Rings, the film series in the early 2000s, was, is, and will always will be my favorite pieces of film ever. My favorite films of all time. Was so when I was a kid, still is when I'm a grown ass man right now holding a Sauron figure. Needless to say, it's a bit of an understatement to say I am pretty excited about the Rings of Power. Towards the months leading up to the show, I did not do much research regarding it. I didn't want to know who the cast was, what was it going to be, etc, etc. I just wanted to go in blind, you know, so, so to just zero base expectations. But of course, there is expectations. It's, it's Lord of the Rings, bro. What made it more exciting to me was because I knew, regardless of the show, whether it was going to be good or bad, it was going to be good for the Lord of the Rings films. I'll tell you why. Let's say it becomes good. People will be like, oh, the Lord of the Rings series is so good. Oh, then you should go watch the movies then because those three are masterpieces. Boom, new fans. I'm always happy to have new Tolkien fans. New Lord of the Rings fans. It's always beautiful to see. Let's say it goes bad. People will be like, oh, if you don't like the, it didn't like this TV show, maybe you should go watch the movies. Oh, it's just impossible to not like the movies. So really, it's a win-win. So when it did come out yesterday, I watched it actually with my familia, which I vlogged. We are about to watch The Rings of Power. It's here! Two episodes out! <laughs> Hello, Nana! Hi, we're going to bond Sister. watch. How much do I love Lord of the Rings? Ikaw? Yes. Very much. How much? That was your first movie stint. Your favorite movie yes. as a kid. So here we go. We're gonna watch it now. Let's go back to Bill Earth. I thought we'd go back to Bill Earth. A few moments later. Nanai, how was it? It was nice. Bye. Cool. Cool. How was it? Alright. Uh, cool Who's your favorite character? Ano, ano, si Galad, Kayo, Tatay. favorite character ni Mark? Diyan din si HBO. Ako yung dwarf. Si Dory. Tama. We love dwarves. We and Dad love the dwarves. Mom and sister love the elves. Yes, that's right. My favorite character so far is Durin and Galadriel. Alright? But enough about that. Let's talk about the real nitty gritty now. Let's address the elephant in the room now because the Rings of Power have been getting a lot of controversy from both sides. One side, which are the Tolkien book elitists, let's call them that, who gatekeep, come off as arrogant. They want to they wanna shelf off this show as soon as possible. They want to review bomb the up out of it. They make it rain on ones on the audience score. I personally, I love The Lord of the Rings, but I haven't read the books. <laughs> Oh, okay, relax, bro. I will find time to read the Silmarillion and the books, etc, etc. I haven't even read the books and it's still my favorite piece of fantasy, media, fiction of all time. Alright, so just calm the F down. They really want to shut down this series just because it doesn't follow the lore. The issue with film not being super faithful to the source material has always been a long debate. As long as the film adaptation blends it well, as long as it translates it well, it makes it make sense at the end of the day, when the overall story is over, how could you really complain? Just give me a good story. As long as you don't lose the essence. And so far, The Rings of Power hasn't lost the Tolkien magic for me. At least for me, you know, a fellow non-book reader or just a casual movie watcher. My take here, my simple take here is that if there was a black kid who was young and watched The Lord of the Rings Fellowship, Two Towers, or Return of the King, and he was like, you know what, when I grow up, I want to be part of a Lord of the Rings uh, project when I grow up. So if that's the kid's dream, then who am I to shut them out from living that dream? That's just a beautiful thing for me. So really, I don't know why people are so mad about that race thing. But that's just the other side. Now let's look at the other, other side, all right? The other side I have a problem with is that the cast, um, recently I've just found out that the cast have been parading this wokeness you know that it's yes inclusivity yes women empowerment but don't be so overbearing on it don't so don't be so in your face it's just 
it's gone to the level of cringe, you know? There's always a balance, you know? I, for one, believe that the true Lord of the Rings fan is not at all bigoted, misogynistic, or racist in any way. Which is why they shouldn't be so concerned. We get it. Just say it once and be done with it. The main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing, alright? You know what happened with the, the Faye Valentine actress in Cowboy Bebop? First, I wanted to apologize to the fans that I did not anatomically match the Faye Valentine character. Um, six foot, double D size breast, two inch waist. You know, they looked everywhere for that woman. There's just a level, there's a level of defending yourself and being confident, but there's also a level of just arrogance and cockiness that strikes people the wrong way. And I think that negatively impacts the show now because of this overbearing wokeism. People now just want it to fail more because the actors are coming off as pretentious or airheaded. So I don't think you're pretentious or airheaded. I think you mean well. My point exactly is just that stop with this elitism, stop with this gatekeeping. We are a beautiful community who opens all fans and what would never shun any adaptation to it. At the end of the day, we're getting more Lord of the Rings content, okay? Be mad about it, be critical about it, but at the end of the day, don't ruin it. Don't don't ruin your the experience of having a Lord of the Rings adaptation, a Lord of the Rings um work in our generation. Just be happy in the moment. I mean, so far nothing is offensive being shown. I'd, I'd, I'd side with you now if maybe they show a nipple or something like that. But so far, I mean, is it really, 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 really that bad? And for the other side, you know, just choose the words more carefully. You know, just, just take in the moment. Understand why people are reacting like this. Of course, they're gonna be indifferent of something new for the first time initially but let them know that you mean well but anyway that's that's been that's basically what i mean i'm so happy for the rings of power i'm so thankful we have a show to look forward to every week i'm so happy to see tokens work but what's important is good or bad whatever happens to the show good or bad new fans will flock now to the lord of the rings movies and that's always a good thing right that's always a good thing right sauron you don't know what a good thing is. You're, a, you're an evil son of a bitch. But anyway, it's been your boy Sky Cobras. That was just my 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 op opinions on it. I'll see you guys again for the next video. Bye bye.